We're hiking up to the mine now and uh, we spooked a small herd of wild horses. It's always cool to see the wild horses I think. Continuing to hike up to the mine and uh, come across something interesting on the way, which is uh, an old vehicle graveyard here. There are two others down there. Somebody that knows cars can probably tell us what this is. I don't know a lot about old cars in terms of make and model and that kind of thing. And this one has certainly seen uh, some better days in its history. But, interesting to see out here all the same. Wouldn't you say? We're getting up into the high country for this one. Beautiful hike though. And uh, it's raining a little bit so keeps us cool which is nice but uh, I, had to show, I had to show some of the scenery because uh, it's pretty beautiful out here there's a uh, creek down there you can hear it rushing over the rocks down there believe it or not that's actually the portal right there and uh, that is a really tight squeeze something interesting you see how those leaves are blowing around right there that's air cold air just blasting out of the attic right there uh, it's really just screaming out of there that's why I'm standing over here actually because the uh, it was messing up the audio it was coming out so strong anyway that's uh, about a foot and a half slide I mean you have about a foot and a half over your head as you slide in that's a really really tight one so uh, it's gonna be a pain to get in but pick up inside all right I just squeezed through the portal where that lights coming through there and uh, that was definitely not a pleasant experience. Um, inside the attic now, as you can see it's flooded. And uh, looks like pretty solid rock once I get past this uh, area in the portal here. And uh, goes for, looks like at least several hundred feet that I can see from here. So uh, when I get through this, back there check it out I think you can see uh, the remains of ties so obviously there was rail here at one time but I don't see any rail now see the ties Impressive flowstone display here. And uh, up there, that's the stuff that looks like frosting. You can see all the old tiles here. Obviously, a lot of workings because you can see they uh, have the unmilled track ties. They just cut down trees outside and use those. Plus, uh, yeah, it's really short. I'm gonna hunch it over now to show you this. And uh, I'm hoping it's gonna get a little bit higher because this is gonna be fun for your back. Still, uh, looks like it's just heading straight back. the original level of the attic too because you can see all the ties. It's not like it's filled in with uh, dirt and such. Man. It's 
chill on my back. Still going. See a uh, part of a pipe here. Oh, finally. Finally, uh, got a bit higher. All right. Very colorful in here. That is for sure. More uh, that flow stone. Pretty impressive. Interesting geological displays in here, I have to say. Look at all those crystals forming up there. That is really cool. They run all through here. Almost like little flowers growing all over the uh, ribs of the attic. Pretty cool. Keeps going along through here too. All right, looks like there's another bend up ahead. Colors in here are nuts. Look at this display of color here. There's a little chamber they carved out there. Okay, it just changed completely. It got really dark on us. I'm referring to the rock. Alright, looks like there might be something going on to the right here. There's a little junction here, you guys. No track, unfortunately. But there's a uh, drift running off to the right there. There is uh, something running off there and here. Let's, uh, we're pointing this direction, let's go this direction. Oh, it's just trying to figure out what that was on the ground. That's the remains of old, old pipe right there. Very rusted pipe. Huh. All right. 
the uh, piece of a dynamite box right there. Bits and pieces of wood here. Now the attic went from being super small before, and now it's really opened up. See, there's a little scope right there. I wasn't just referring to that though, I meant in general it's much higher than it was earlier on. Just kind of meandering through here. I'm guessing they would fall in a vein given how much is twisting around. to the right up there. Not too informative. Okay, just a little round and around. Uh, pretty big piece of the wood back here. And it looks like ends right here. See some dynamite boxes and a huge, huge clump of flowstone. That's crazy. Look at those rocks that are embedded in the flowstone. That's wild. I've never seen it before. All right, you can't move those at all. I mean, that's, those are literally embedded in rock now. That's crazy. Huh. That's several inches thick flowstone right there. That's just consumed those rocks. That's really interesting. Huh. Yeah, like I was saying, just some old dynamite boxes here. Looks like, uh, I don't know if that's backfill or something dumped down from above. This, uh, just faces out right there. So let's go back and check out those other drifts. All right, I'm back at the junction and we just went down this drift. Now let's go down this middle drift here. Looks like it might actually stop right there. Is that the end or is it turn? Looks like a turn, it's never mind. Ah, it does turn, but we didn't go very far. All right, well, that leaves that drift off to the right for us to check out. So I'll meet you back there. All right, I am again back at the junction. We just went down that drift and that leaves just this one for us. Whoa. Strong airflow coming down this one. I don't know if you're hearing that in the microphone or not, but uh, there's powerful airflow through here. Little uh, pocket that cleared out there. Running back this way. or stoop right there. Okay, so we got some stuff here. There is a little, a little cross cut running off there and stopping. I hear some running water ahead that way. Looks like there's an ore shoe or something up there. Big jumble of pipes here, faces out right there. Yeah, that's an ore chute and I think that's where the air is coming from because it's really strong right now. See all the pipes running up there. 
hard to get too much of a look back there because it's not in good shape. Definitely where the air is coming from though. Oh, here we go. Alright, this is the uh, other side of the shoe. I had to step out of the wind to be able to uh, say anything. You see it's really old. It's got round nails, but this is an old, old ore shoe. You can see they just use trees from outside for most of it. Pretty impressive. And uh, looking behind, or looking up, continuing on the uh, drift here. Runs back there. It hits a face. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you can see it runs back to the face right there. Plus, there's some really unpleasant looking stagnant water right there. I'm not too keen to cross, especially when I can see the face there. So, I'm guessing this ore chute ties into the uh, upper workings, given airflow.